there. Namaste, everybody. Welcome to week four. I uh, hope you're feeling great and your game is on. Uh, we're going to continue to build upon uh, what we've been working with. Uh, working with the breath, working with the focus, opening up the body layer by layer. So each week we're just digging in a little bit deeper. Today we're going to start in reclined butterfly pose. Take a moment to roll onto your back and then bring your knees into your chest. If you've got two blocks, you can grab them. You may or may not need them. But first, bring your knees into your chest and then place your feet down. You're going to bring the bottoms of your feet together and allow your knees to come out really wide. Good. This is reclined butterfly pose. If this is too much for your low back or your hips, you can give yourself better support by putting blocks underneath each knee. You can also just allow your knees to become really relaxed as your left hand comes on your heart, your right hand is on your belly. Now close your eyes. Close your eyes and take one big breath in through the nose, out of the mouth. And again, another really big breath coming in and let it go. With your eyes closed, you're in reclined butterfly. Good, just kind of feeling the rhythm of your heart, feeling the rhythm of your breath. Good, and you start to deepen, start to lengthen. Good, this week we're gonna really work on digging a little bit deeper into the breath. So maybe instead of the count of two or three, maybe your breath is getting so long and deep, you're actually utilizing more of your lung capacity and you're breathing about to the count of four or five. So it's in through the nose, slow and steady. Out through the nose, slow and steady. Take five more breaths, but notice your knees. Notice if you're resisting the knees releasing, let the knees get heavier and heavier. Let the breath get deeper and deeper. So these breaths really start to create just a little space in between the fluctuations of the mind, creating what we call a cessation of the fluctuation in the mind. So your breath is now steady and complete. It's in and out of your nose. You can use your hands to begin to pull your knees back together and then just draw your knees right into your chest, creating a little ball. Good. Take your head down. We're going to release the hips again with a posture we call happy baby. Grab onto the outside of your feet with your hands and let the top of your feet come up toward the sky. Now knees come into the armpits and the legs are out wide as you start to release the low back and the sciatica opening up, releasing hips. Rolling gently from side to side. Remember the practice is a practice. Never seeking perfection, just moving forward layer by layer. Continue to breathe in and out of the nose. Good, and then pull the knees back in. We're gonna deepen the connection with breath by connecting movement with breath. Working into some abdominal crunches to start to warm up the body a little bit. Draw your low belly in. Take your hands behind your head. Good. And before you move, good. You want to really find your focus, find your breath. Your inhale, your arms are right where they are. And with the exhale, you're going to gently lift your right shoulder up off the earth and tap your left knee. Inhale, slowly roll down. And exhale, twist to the right. Inhale to roll up and exhale to switch sides. If you need more, you can slowly start to extend the legs, squeezing, inhaling, and exhaling. Begin to twist just a little bit deeper as you bring awareness to your core. In through the nose, in out through the nose, a few more rounds. The key here is not to see how many crunches you can get in, but more about the awareness of each movement, the awareness of your body, awareness of your breath. 
from back to center, pull your knees in and draw yourself into a little ball. Good. We're going to work into the back side of the body as we continue to support and strengthen those tiny supported muscles in the spine with some first rolling bridges. Your knees are up, your feet are rooted, palms are facing the ground. With your inhale, begin to roll your spine up vertebrae by vertebrae. The exhale is the opposite direction. You're going to feel each vertebrae root to the ground. The Final exhale, your pelvis tilts forward. Inhale, we gently roll up. And exhale, we gently roll down. Now remember, you're not just lifting the hips up and down. You're rolling the spine. You're realigning the spine and gently strengthening the supported muscles in your spine. Gently lifting up and then gently rolling down. Now the next time you're up, you'll come into a full bridge. Nose is forward, hands clasped behind you. Rock your shoulder blades underneath you and begin to pump up the heart. Lift up your hips and then push your feet down into the ground. Mindful not to put pressure or strain or weight on your neck. Your weight is on your shoulders. Two more breaths. Lifting a little bit more, and now release. Knees come back into your chest, and to release your spine, we roll from side to side. You might even want to make a few circular movements in one direction, and a couple of circles in the other direction. Pull your nose up towards your knees, roll up into a seat, and extend your legs out in front of you. Working to release your IT band, we're going to move into this IT stretch. Right knee first comes into your chest. Be mindful how you work with your knees. We're going to take the right hand and I'm actually going to reach around for my right, right foot with my right hand. And I'm going to slowly take this right knee out to the right side of my body. And as if I'm kind of rocking a baby, I'm going to Pull my left arm around and then bring the right knee in. See how tall you can sit. Good, you don't want to strain. You want to sit really tall. The left foot is flexing. Good, close your eyes and begin to breathe a little bit deeper in and out of the nose. And then, just like kind of rocking that baby, we're just going to release the hip and stretch out the IT band with this gentle roll from right to left. Breath is in through nose and breath is out through the nose. Good. Come back to center, sit a little bit taller. It's easy to kind of start to slouch, lift up, chin is forward, nose is forward, breath is deep in, and out of nose. Good. As you release, your right leg will stretch out, bend your left knee, and then setting up the other side mindfully. Your left knee comes out to the side, left arm inside as I wrap around to grab my left foot. Right elbow is inside that left knee, and then begin to sit tall. Good, pull the left knee slightly back, pull the legs towards you, make your adjustment. Remember, if something causes pain in your knee or your back or your hip, you should move out of the pose immediately, but you should feel a lot of sensation. Close your eyes and deepen the breath. It's going to start to unbind the body and then a little bit of a sway. This is going to help to release. Breath is in through nose and out through the nose. Good. Sit a little bit taller. Pull the shoulders back a little bit further. Right foot is flexing. Eyes are soft and relaxed. Spine is long. And as you prepare to unwind, you'll just extend both legs out. Seated forward fold, sit really tall. Remember these forward folds are a, a combination of a movement. Your hips are moving back as your head and shoulders and heart are moving forward. I'm actually moving forward toward my feet and down at the same time. Hinging from hips, not the rib cage. Grab onto feet, ankles, shins, whatever you can reach today. Lift your chin and soften in. 
Take about five breaths. Every inhale is gonna lengthen you. Every exhale, you'll melt softly inward. Eyes are closed, breath is deep. In and out your nose. Relax your head, maybe shake it out a little bit without bouncing. Let gravity and the breath take you in. Release and slowly, slowly roll it up, gently and mindfully rolling it up. We're going to open up and release our quads with a posture called Trianga Mukha Ekapada Paschimottanasana. Just a fancy name for this release, this posture to open up the hips and the quads. We're going to first bend the right knee. Now, the top of my right foot is actually gonna come next to my right hip. If you have tight quads or hamstrings or hips, this might cause too much strain on your right knee. You need to take a block and put it underneath your left hip. If this is the first time doing this, make sure you use the block. This is gonna take a lot of strain off your right hip. Now, with your knees forward, your left foot flexing, sit as tall as you can. Remember, we're not sitting on this right foot, it's next to the right hip, my foot is facing down. Get really tall, get long, and just like every other forward fold, we lean forward, lean with the head and the heart, reach for a bind of some sort, lift up, and soften in. Heart is melting toward the left thigh and your eyes are closed. You're breathing in and out of the nose. If you're still not quite sure what this should look like, I'm gonna to turn to the side so that you can see where my right foot is. Now, if you don't need the block, that's okay too. Just sit up really tall, fold it in, and now breathe. Three more breaths, in through nose, out through nose. Good. See if your head can relax anymore. Let your head get really heavy. It might even round forward. Release the bind you have and begin to roll up gently vertebrae by vertebrae. We're going to switch sides. Good. Both legs come out in front. Left foot comes next to left hip. Actually, the top of the left foot is on the mat. I might be sitting on a block or I might be sitting on the ground wherever you are. First, let your knees come forward. Foot next to hip, right foot flexing. Sit tall and then slowly melt in. Slowly melt in. Good. So as you melt in, you're lengthening and melting. Eyes are closed. Notice what you're reaching. Be active, not forceful. Allow the body to naturally unbind. This is going to release your quads, releasing tension on your knees so that your knees don't become out of balance. In this yoga practice, what we're doing is we're just creating better balance through the body, opening up the tight areas and strengthening those that might be a little bit soft or weak. As you slowly rise up, you're going to make your way onto hands and knees. It's your tabletop pose. We've been here before, each time moving to tabletop. A couple of rounds, cat cows, just to release your back. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Belly falls and then belly rises. Come into neutral, and we're going to set up what we call our spinal balance, strengthening the tiny supporting muscles of the spine. Spinal balance. Extend your right leg back behind you and see if you can even up your hips. Head is forward and left arm extends out in front. Get really long, take an inhale, and when you exhale, we're going to crunch in, round your spine. Inhale to lengthen, maybe even point your toe. Exhale, squeeze. Take three more, inhaling and exhaling. 
Take your time and extend and then squeeze. Last round, extend out and squeeze. Good. Switch sides. Extend your left leg first. Even up your hips so hip bones are facing down. Flex your foot and lengthen your head forward. Reach your right arm. Take a moment here and then begin to crunch. Elbow to knee. Crunching. Good. And squeezing. Good. Lips are still together. Breathing exclusively through the nose. Back to hands and knees, you're at tabletop. From tabletop, setting up our yoga squat. Take a moment to let your legs come out wide. In a yoga squat, you want your bum to be low, your knees to be wide, and then hands can slowly come to heart center. Push your knees open. And it doesn't matter if you can't quite reach your heels down, then you're on your toes, that's okay. Just extend your legs a little further. Tailbones down, head is up, breath is still in and out of nose. Take the left hand onto the ground and gently twist open to the right. Lift your gaze to your right hand. Good. Take the right hand down to the ground and then twist to the left. Lift your gaze to the left hand. Take your left hand down and place your hands onto the ground. Slowly stand up, lift your chin and melt in. Take two breaths, let your head go. Shake it out, yes and no, and back and forth. Hands are on the ground or on your blocks. You're gonna to start to bend your knees again back to yoga squat. Drop your seat, place your hands to your heart center and draw your knees wide. Left hand comes down, slowly twist to the right, lift your right arm. The right hand will come down and then moving to the left. Left hand comes down, Knees are wide and hands to the ground. Slowly roll it up one vertebrae at a time. Lift your chin to get extra space and fold into that space. Three breaths in and out of nose, head is down, hips are high, releasing hamstrings big. Last round, slowly you'll bend into your knees. Your knees are wide, yoga squat. Hands at the heart center, really push the knees away. Lift up with your heart, lift up with the top of your head. Dropping down your left hand, wave open to the right, reach your right arm. And then take your right hand down as you reach to the left. Left hand comes down, push away and place your hands to the ground, roll it up. Half lift, gaze out, exhale, fold in. Last five breaths, a little bit of a sway from side to side, relax the upper body and neck and head. And then come right back down as you place your hands to your heart center. Close your eyes, set your intention. Have an amazing day. Thanks for practicing with me. Namaste.